my rim truck with 28 verse, 29 verse 18. Bring it up. We out here to teach that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. Okay, That's right. The Bible. We are out here to teach you your nationality. We are out here to teach you repentance. Right. And we are out here to teach you God's laws, all right? That's Watch right. this. Come on. Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18. Bring it up. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Look at, look at your community. Look what's going on in our hoods. We have no vision. Yes. That's why we're in the condition that we are. We have no vision. We don't know where we're going. Right we are out here to show you who you truly are. Right. We are out here to show you how great y'all brothers are. Right. Give me First John chapter 3, verse 1. Because we don't have no vision. That's why we out here. We lost. We, we, we turn to weed. We turn to women. We turn to all these different things. Right alcohol. We turn to all these different things, but we never come to the Bible. Right. We right. never stop and think. Let's come to these scriptures. Let's read for ourselves because we go to Christianity, we go to politics, we go to all these different avenues to get help, but we never turn to the Bible. Right. Bring it out. First John chapter three, verse one. Bring it out. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. What? The sons of God. Yes. That's what we are here to let you brothers know Bring that it you are the sons of God. Right. You are God's chosen people. That's it's time right. for us to change, right. brothers. Bring it's it time up. for us to stand up for what's right. Right. Let go of the sin. Let go of the wickedness that we in. That's right. Give me um, give me um, Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. Because brothers, yeah. we are not here to condemn you. We are out here to build our people. What's your name? Yeah. What's Abram. going on? Abram. Abram. Hey, what's your name, brother? Adam. Adam. All right. So what we out here to do is teach that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. That's right. We're out here to show you brothers how great you truly are. Bring it watch up. this. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. Bring it up, brothers. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. What does it mean to be holy? Yeah. To be separate. Very good. It means to be set apart. Read it. The Lord thy God hath chosen. Come on. To be a special people. To be a what? Special people. Yeah. If nobody ever told you, brothers, tonight we're here to tell you that y'all brothers are special. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just for the fact that you come from the nation of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the Israelites. You are the sons of the living God. That's you guys right. are special. Read. Bring it up. To himself. Above. What? Above. No, equal. Above. Beneath. Above. Come on. All people that are upon the face of the earth. God said that the so-called black man, the Hispanic man, the Native American man Bring is above up. all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. But I got a question for you brothers. Are we living like we above? The society treat us like we above? Bring it out. Why is that? Why is that? I can't speak up. Because we black? What do you think? Why, why is it that we getting shot down by the police? Why is it that we got crime in our neighborhood? We got liquor stores on every corner. Bring it out. Oh. We got strip clubs on every corner. Right. Our music, all we talk about is, is bang bang, right. gang gang. Why, why is it? Why, why do we go through these things? Jeez. Give me Hosea chapter 13 verse 9. We out here to show you. That's that vision. You see, we don't have no vision. But the prophets of God are back. We are here to show you who you brothers truly are. Right. Right. Hosea chapter 13, verse 9. Bring it out. Oh Israel. Oh Israel. That's the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Thou hast destroyed thyself. God says we have destroyed ourselves. We are the ones to blame. Yes, the white man is killing us. Yes, right. the other nations are killing us. Right. But we need to look in the mirrors and say, we the ones to blame. Right. We did this to ourselves. Right. Right. Hosea 4 and 6. We did this to ourselves. The Bible says, O Israel, thou hast destroyed thyself. But how did we destroy ourselves? Come on. Bring it out. Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. Bring, Bring it out. out. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You hear that? God says we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. right. What is that knowledge you think that, that, Bring that it God out. is talking about? What is the knowledge? Okay, not that. Okay, what do you think? What, what knowledge is God talking about? Is he talking about a PhD? Bring is he out, talking about a bachelor's Bring degree? It out. What Bring type it of knowledge do you think God is talking about? Bring it out. Okay, knowledge of oneself. What do you think? You don't know? No. Okay, watch this. Come on. Malachi chapter 2, verse 7. Bring it out. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge, Come on. and they should seek the law. The what? The law! The what? The law at his mouth! So what is the knowledge? What did God just say what the knowledge was? 
the laws of God. So in Hosea, it said we have been destroyed because we destroyed ourselves, and he said that we are destroyed because we lack knowledge. Right. So what is that knowledge that we lack? Right, right. The, law? the laws of God. That's Very good. Right. Very good. So we're going to give y'all some laws real quick. Give me 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Because what God is looking for is obedience. That's what he's looking for. That's why we're in the conditions that we're in. Right. That's why we went through slavery. Right. Because of disobedience. That's right. Watch this. Come on. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. Bring it out. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Come on. So who's the head of the man? Christ. Christ. Very good. You're listening. Come on. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So there's order. You got God, Christ, man, and woman, right? Right. right. Y'all following? Come on. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Very good. You caught that. You understand what God is saying? What the Bible is saying? Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoring his head. Right now, we're going through prophecies. We're going through understanding of the right, Bible. Right. When the Bible's coming out, young man, you're supposed to have your head uncovered. That's right. Yeah. That's a law of God. Right. That's right. That's what God is looking for. Obedience. That's right. That's right. Obedience. That's all he wants. Right. Right. That's all he wants because watch this. We're going to show you that y'all the Israelites. Give me, go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28. We're here to show you that y'all God shows the people. Right. That's what we are here to show you. And we're going to prove it out the Holy Bible. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Bring it out. Bring it out. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 45. Bring it out. Go. Moreover, all these curses, all these, what? all these curses. Now let me ask you, what's a curse? A good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? right really? down, huh? All these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Come on. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments. To do what? To keep his commandments. So God said curses will come upon us for not keeping his commandments. Right. I want you to hold up this sign, soldier. I want you to come up. Step up. I want you to tell me what do you see on this sign? Uh, his, our history and which is what? Come over here, brother. Brother with the brown shirt. Oh, he's with y'all? Okay. What do you see on this sign? Our history, right? Right in slave slavery, right? So okay, so look at the pictures and tell me. I want you to be specific on what you see. You said branded slaves, right? That's one. Branded the woman, right? Come on. What else you got? You got yokes of iron, right? What else? Auction blocks in the cotton field. Labor hard bondage, right? So all these things happen to us, right? This is a fact. You can't deny this, right? right, right, right. We're going to show you that this history is recorded in the Bible. Bring Your history is recorded in the Bible. That's That's right. Watch this. Come on. Verse, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse um, six, 64. You can put the sign down, soldier. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 64. Bring it out! And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. So how did we get from the west coast of Africa to America? How do we get from the Gold Coast, the West Coast of Africa, to the Americas? What? They shipped us, right? When? In 1619, Bring the transatlantic slave trade. Right. We were taken from the West Coast of Africa and brought to the Americas. That's right. That's your, this is in the Bible. Your history is documented. Your right. fingerprints are found all throughout this Bible. Right. Right. How come the Christian church ain't teaching you this? Bring it How come right. they will never show you that you are the children of God, right. that you are the Israelites? Bring it out. Read it again, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth, even unto the other. Verse 68. You said Verse by 68. ships, man. You said by ships. Watch this, come on. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So if you know anything about the, the history of, of the Israelites, when we were in Egypt, what was our occupation? Bring it out. When Moses said, let my people go to Pharaoh. What, Bring it out. what was the, the status of the Israelites? They were, they were slaves, right? Right. So God said he's going to bring us back into Egypt Back into slavery, read. With, again, with ships. This time he said he's going to bring us back into slavery with ships. Who did this happen to? Bring it out. What other people besides the blacks 
Hispanics and Native Americans could take claim to this history. Right. Right. Nobody. Right. Nobody. Nobody could take claim to this history. That's Read. Right. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And as a nation of people, have we ever been brought back to Africa or to Israel to be more Pacific? No, we haven't, right? They brought, they took us from, from the Africa, brought us here, and we never went back, right? right. As a nation. Read. And there he shall be sold unto he your enemy. What? He shall be sold unto your enemy. Pick up that sign again, soldier. Pick it up. God says we shall be sold to our enemies. Cash, men, women, and children for sale. Nobody, turn it around. And it wasn't just the white man, because I know we think the white man, but you had the Arabs and the Africans right. in the sub-Saharan slave trade. Right, the, right. the Arabs sold us, the Africans sold us to the Arabs. They sold us to the white man. This is documented in the Bible. Your history is in the Bible. That's right. I got a question for you. Put that sign down. He said, sold us for what? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Once we got off them slave ships. For bond men and bond women. Come on. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall buy you. Now I got a question for you. What happened to our women in slavery? They were raped. They were what? Raped. They were raped, raped right? right? Right. Watch this. Verse 32. Verse 30. Verse 30. Okay. Thou shalt betroth a wife. The Bible says we will betroth a wife. You will have a wife, right? Read. And another man shall lie with her. And another man shall lie with her. Right. What are we reading? The Holy Bible. That's right. This is your history, brothers. We are here to give you that vision that you lost. Right. Bring it we are here to show you that you are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Bring it out. Huh? Read it again. Thou shalt betroth a wife. And another man shall lie with her. And another man shall lie with her. Who was that man? The white man, right? In slavery. Right. 1619. Right. They took our wives from us, right? What about our children? What happened to the, ch to the kids? Uh, they were sold. They were sold, right? They were sold. They, they were sending them to um, different plantations, right? Right. Watch right. this. Verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. God says our sons and our daughters will be given to another people. Right. What if somebody came right now and just snatched you up and took you all the way to, to um, Alabama, Bring to Mississippi? Up. How would you feel? And Bring you had no up. power to get out of that. That's what happened. Even to this very day, 2019, it's happening to who? To our so-called uh, Hispanic brothers. Right. The Mexicans, the right. Guatemalans, the Ecuadorians. Bring it up! At the border of, of Texas, you know, you watching the news? What's, I want you to tell what's going on at the border. They basically got, uh, they got a bunch of children. Right, they taking them, right? They taking them from their families. That's in the Bible. Read it again. Bring it out. Thy it sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, Come on. and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. We have no economic might. We have right. no military might. Right. To this very day, if DCF come knocking on your door, they will take your kids. Right, That's right. Bring it out. Huh? This is Bible prophecy. That's this right. is written thousands of years ago. Right. And right. it's happening to this very day. Right. Bring it out. So the brother earlier said a heavy point. Get on verse 16. Bring it out. Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. It says, Cursed shall thou be in the city, right? What are some of the things that happen in Jacksonville, in this city, this city that you live in? What are some of the things? You said killings? Everything, right? Watch this. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. We're going to give you the attributes of a cursed city. Because I want you to know this is, didn't happen by coincidence. There's ghettos in every hood, in, in every neighbor, in every state, every country where you go, and you're going to find all people in those ghettos. That's right. Watch this. Come on. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Bring it out. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. You hear that? Hear the word of the Lord. He's speaking to you. The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's you know, the Israelites. Right. That's right. For the Lord had a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Do you know what the word controversy means? A conflict. A conflict, a beef, right? Come on. Because there is no mercy, nor knowledge. Nor what? Nor knowledge. What's the knowledge that we read earlier? The laws of God. That's so God right. said he has a beef with us because there's no mercy, there's no knowledge, read. Because there is no truth. 
nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. Come on, read. By swearing. By what? By swearing. Don't we swear against one another? Yo, F that brother right there. Bring right? it out. We swear against each other, right? Come on. By swearing and lying. Don't we lie on each other? Right. Don't black folks lie on each other all day? Bring it out. And killing. And what? And killing. Don't we kill each other in these neighborhoods? That's right. That's all we known for. Right. Murder. Right. You turn on, I bet you turn on the TV right now, on the, the news channel, another black man got shot down. Right. Guaranteed. Right. Read. By stealing and... Don't we steal from each other? Yo, let's go hit licks. Yo, I'm gonna go ride on that brother. Yo, I heard he got Bring a couple... Bring it up! He right. got a couple pranks. Yo, I'm right. gonna go ride on him. Right? right. We steal from each other, right? Read. Committing adultery. That's a big one. Committing adultery. Sleeping with your homeboy's baby mama. That's that's prevalent in the neighborhoods. Bring it out. Everybody be doing that in these neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Sleeping with they, they they homeboys' baby mamas. These sisters sleeping with their homegirls' baby daddies, right? That's right. Read. They break out and blood touches blood. And blood touches blood. Right. It's only the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans doing this to each other. Right. The white man don't be killing the white man. Right. The Chinese man don't be killing the Chinese man. Right. Bring it out. Be, it's us that do these things to right. each other. Right. Right. We the one that, that are plagued with these curses. Why? Right. Because we refuse to hawk in the God. Right. Right. Now, my question to you, how do we get up out of these curses? Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 1. Bring it out. How do we get up out of these curses? Because I'm gonna let you brothers know, sir. We are a blessed people that are under a curse. Right. right. So, as a blessed people that are under the curse, how do we get up out of the curse? Y'all thinking? I see y'all thinking. We gonna help you out. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse one. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. The what? And the curse. There goes that word again, the curse. Brothers, pay attention. Because I'm telling you right now, you ain't going to hear this nowhere else. That's Nobody right, going right. to tell you that you the Israelites, that you God's chosen people. Right. Right. Nobody, your mom not going to tell you, your dad, your pastor, nobody. But the Israelites, the sons of God are here to let you brothers know That's that you right. are the Israelites. Right. right? Right? We're trying to show you how to get up out of these curses. Real quick, five minutes, come on. When all these things shall come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee and thou shalt call them to mind. That's what y'all brothers doing it right now. Y'all calling it to mind. These curses, slavery. Why did we go through slavery? Why is it that we getting shot down in the neighborhood? Y'all calling it to mind, right? That's right. Among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee Read. and shall return unto the Lord thy God. See that? And shall return. That's what God is looking for. He's looking for you to return back to him. That's right. Read. And shall obey his voice. What do we got to do? Obey his voice. Come on. According to all that I command thee this three. day, thou and thy children. Chapter verse 3. Verse 3. That then. That what? That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. You hear that? God says then once we obey, once we come back to his law, statutes, and commandments, then he's going to turn the captivity. Right. No more will we be getting shot down in the streets. Right. 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 No more we're going to be after working nine to five. Right. Right. No more we're going to be killing each other. That's no, right. God said he's going to turn the captivity. Right. Right. So we must obey. That's right. right. We must obey his commandments. Now you will see the true men of God. We are not black men. We are the Israelites. That's right. Come on. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. 
Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.